You can be on camera. We're starting. We're starting. Good morning, Ida. Hi, Olivia. Good morning. We're going to wait a couple of Hi, Michelle. Hi, Diane. Hi, Brenda. We're going to wait a couple minutes. Uh, well, not a couple minutes, maybe a couple seconds. I got to get more Diet Coke in my cup. I thought my dog was going to join us, but I guess she's more excited about going to lay in her bed. So I tried to fix that wire and it obviously I didn't. Ken was freaking out the other day that it was there. Hi, Eleanor. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Lori. Hi, Belinda. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Susan. Give me a second. Let me see if I can fix this a little bit more. I don't think I can. Can you think it's kind of just stuck. Oh, okay. Well, oh, I worked. It's okay. Yay. Okay. Oh, whew. good morning. Good morning. We'll wait a couple more seconds. Yeah, Kate's like, yay, Diet Coke. I know. Got to get some in my body. Um, hi, Lisa. Hi, Vare. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Gloria. Good morning. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Gail. Hi, Pat. Hi, Diane. Mm. Russ says, wrap some Christmas tinsel around it and make it a decoration. I know I should. Hi, Melody. Cynthia said, day one of final exams are over. Yay, good, Cynthia. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Janine. Hi, Mary. Hi, Antoinette. Hi, Robin. Uh, Eleanor is reminding us to like and subscribe, and so is Gloria. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Andy says, so excited about the mini slimline dies. Woohoo. I know. I know, right? And they're on a really, really good flash sale, which is awesome. Hi, Monica. Um, Carol says, say hi to my husband, Jeff, and granddaughter, Annie. Well, hello, Jeff and Annie. Are you joining us for our live? We love Carol. Carol's our big helper in, in Florida. Um, let's see. Elizabeth says, uh, the cards offered Thursday night. Have they been on HSN? No, they have not. No, they have not. Um, they have not been on HSN. The, for the special event on June 10th, Kirsten and Colin's anniversary, I'm surprised we're doing it that night, but um, uh, we uh, are doing a free online event and we're going to be releasing, I believe it was five brand new items. Well, I take that back. I think two are redos from the olden days. Um, but they haven't been out in a billion years and they'll be on flash sale. So we'll have five brand new flash sales. So it'll be exciting. Kelly says, hi from Livingston, Texas. Thank you for the free smile die. I love it so much. You're welcome, Kelly. Thank you for being a club member. Um, Gail says she's giving a final right now. Oh gosh. I hope you have earphones in. Oh, Susan's on vacation in Florida. Nice. Um, Antoinette says, can you recreate that thanks card that you created for the other company? Um, that was a A1 size, if I remember correctly. We actually have some bigger words coming out. So uh, I don't know when, but eventually. Um, but yeah, I'll look into that one because that one's already done. Um, let's see. Hi, Carlotta. Good morning. Hi from Indiana. Hi, Missy. Hi, Eva. Okay, so let me tell you, hi, uh, Kristen from Pennsylvania. Oh, Lori says her granddaughter's birthday is Thursday, seven years old. Wow, that's awesome. Seven's a good age. Um, so let's see. Let me give you my um, breakdown for our weekend. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, Friday we had the babies come over. Oh, well, oh, gosh. I don't think I told you about their um, doctor's appointment. One of the worst days ever. Uh, so the babies had their 15 month old checkup and, uh, because there's two of them, another adult got to go. So I went cause Colin had to work. And, uh, so Kirsten and I took the babies right after nap. We took them straight to the doctor. Cause that's like the best time for them to, you know, they're happy. And we walked into the waiting room. Fine. We walked. Then once they told us to go into the, um, the actual exam room, I was holding Miller and Miller's the blondie. And I was holding Miller and he looked around and he started flipping out. 
he started grab he he held on to me like a monkey like he literally was grabbing my shirts like like this he was holding on like this and he was putting his head in my chest and he, so his back was out his we were tummy to tummy and he was holding on to me clinging for life and i'm like kirsten he remembers from their 12 month checkup because they got shots right and kirsten's like there's no way he remembers that was 3 months ago and I'm like, oh, no, this kid remembers. I mean, he was clinging to me. Like, I mean, I was like ready to cry. It was so sad. And so then um, the nurse came in and for some reason, I don't know what the deal is. And somebody maybe works at a pediatrician's office or something. But for some reason, they spend 17 hours measuring these kids and they make them lay flat on the paper and then they mark it down and mark it down. Meanwhile, the baby is freaking out because the baby's like going, what the heck is going on? And then they want to check the ears and check the pulse and everything. It's like, why can't you do half of that while the child is sitting on my lap? And I'm so bummed about that because it's like, well, hello. Oops, sorry, I got to back up. Um, you know, the babies are freaking out. And they just get all upset and they're just sad and, and it, it's awful. So then the nurse finally leaves and then oh, 15 minutes later, 10 minutes, maybe 10 minutes later, the doctor comes in. She goes, how's everything? We're like, uh, well, good. We have a couple issues. We talked about a couple things. She's like, oh, no, that's OK. That's OK. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Meanwhile, Miller is like he's he's got his face into my chest, but then he kind of peeks out. He like looks at her and he, go, and he hides again. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this poor baby. So of course we're giving him food. We're giving him treats. We're giving him toys. We're giving everything. And I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. And then the doctor's like, okay, well, that's normal. That's normal. Blah, 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 whatever. Um, nothing exciting. And then, oh, well then, okay. So yes, they have to do the growth charts. Yes. I totally get all that. No, 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 Marianne. I totally get that. And, and the measuring is fine, but it was the scale that upset me. So they bring in the scale and the baby has to sit on it naked, right? Okay, that's fair. Okay, I get that. That's fair. Well, we put the baby down. The baby's crying, of course, because the baby doesn't know what's happening. And the scale is like, it's like the stamps of life on a release night where it just spins and nothing's happening. The scale kept spinning. It would not, it's a digital scale. It would not, the baby's not even that moving. I mean, you know, like, you might, might wiggle a little, but the baby was not moving and it's just spinning and spinning. We're talking 20 seconds waiting for this to give us a flippant number and it never did. And finally, Kirsten's like, can you use the other scale in the other room? That's like, you know, cause last time they let, they, they, um, weighed Kirsten and then they put, then they had her hold the baby and they weighed him again and then they subtracted it. So it wasn't so like freaky like horrible for the child. Well, this time, then they put us out on another scale outside that he had to sit on. And again, it's taking a long time. I'm like, okay, seriously, this is like a nice doctor's office. Why do they not have a scale that like my bathroom scale is probably a $50 scale. It tells me within half a second what my weight is. Oh my gosh. I was seriously, I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, okay. So that was the first nurse. Then the doctor comes in, blah, blah, blah. Okay, looking good, looking good. And she goes, okay, now it's time for their shots. They needed to get three vaccines, right? And so the doctor leaves and we start waiting and waiting and waiting. Now, as the mother, the grandma, the mother of the daughter, I try not to complain. I just sit there and I, I try to entertain these children. Keep in mind, they're very upset. And they're just like, you know, there's no toys in there, of course, because, you know, there's germs. I get that part. I get that part. And then there's nothing to do except there's this button on the computer. And so they start pressing it. And we're like, hey, go ahead. If it's at your eye level, go ahead and press the stupid button. We don't care. <laughs> so we're waiting and waiting. Finally, Kirsten, and Kirsten never complains. Kirsten's very mild mannered, very, very easygoing. She looks at her watch and she says, if they're not here in five more minutes, we are walking out the store. And I'm like, whoa, then we must have been really waiting a long time if she's upset. Finally, Beth says I would have been ugly by then. Yeah, it was pretty ugly. Finally, they come back in. Now, I, uh, my theory was, and I'm sure this is not true, 
But my theory was we are waiting so long that my theory was I even told this to Kirsten. I said, do you think they have a video camera on us to see how you handle stress and to see if you're abusing the children or something like I mean, I don't understand why they would make you wait so long. We were there over an hour and 20 minutes. Why? They weren't busy. They only do like one or two appointments at a, at a time because of COVID. It was awful. It was awful. It was awful. Finally, they come in. One good thing, though, the nurse was very quick. You have to lay the kid out again. You have to hold the kid down. And, and um, they can't have a binky in their mouth because they could choke on it. They can't have food in them because blah, blah, blah. So we're holding them down. She was fast. She went boom, boom, boom. And then she did the Band-Aids. So we've been in a situation where they do one shot. Then they go find a Band-Aid. Then they come back and put the Band-Aid on. And then they get the next shot ready. So it, that it was not at least slow motion. But it was awful. It was awful. So Sharon says there was probably an emergency or a serious medical condition. If there was, Sharon, I totally would have been appreciative of that. But there wasn't. Because the office is a ghost town. The office. So we would have heard anything. Um, last time we were there, they we had the kids wander. We, we had them wander around the halls because we were just like, there's no reason to be waiting. Like, you know, we're going to come in for these vaccines. You could have them ready. I don't know. It was just weird. Um, Lynn says, I would not have waited more than 20 minutes. You know what? Seriously, what I, I next time, because they go for 18 months, I, I'm going to like talk to them ahead of time. And I'm not going to be rude. I'm not because I understand they're busy. I get it. OK, they're, let's say they're busy, um, even though literally they there was no other patients there. We saw a patient coming in as we were leaving and that was it because they don't they don't stack patients like they used to because of COVID. So next time I'm going to say, can you have the shots ready so we can make a quick escape? So I will kind of say something. Uh, cases, I wouldn't expect that from your doctor or clinic. Yes. Hey, Ben, you're here. Aren't you supposed to be? Oh, Ben's off of vacation. Ben's on vacation. I know Yvette says that's not abnormal. Oh, that's not abnormal. Oh my gosh. Elizabeth says I'd get a new pediatrician. Eleanor says the same thing. You know what? I'll be honest. We, that has been talked about already. Yes. Um, this is actually a new pediatrician because when they moved, they had to find a new one. So um, yeah, I'm on summer. Ben says, yes. Well, hi, Ben. Okay. So that was that day. The next day they were cranky and sad and sore, you know, and all that. And so we had them and, and Kirsten's like, oh, they're very clingy. We literally on Friday, and this is not the doctor's part fault. This is just vaccines, but they were just very lethargic. You know how it is when you get your shots, you know, you're just kind of like, Ugh. so we held them most of the time when they came over to play on Friday. However, we taught Miller two different things in three hours. So that's how much of a sponge is they're becoming. We taught him when he takes a drink, watch. We taught him when he has a straw and he takes a drink to do this. <sighs> so that's really funny. Miller taught, we taught Miller that. And we taught him, because we heard a fire truck, we taught him to go woo, woo, for the fire truck sound. So we were all proud of ourselves. And, and then Liam, we, I bought them these little bikes there. I, I wish I had one to show you. I'll bring one next week. It's um, called, I think, a Strider bike. It has no pedals. And literally, they just sit on it and they move their feet like this. But it has handlebars. And Liam learned how to use it already. And so Liam was just, he's kind of walking because he's not sitting down. But he's walking with it in between his legs. It was so cute. So we did teach him three different things. Uh, Cynthia said she did the same thing with a drink with her baby. I know, isn't it cute? If you were happy with the former pediatrician, I would ask um, former pediatrician for referrals, PA said. That's a good idea. Um, yeah, the sad thing is, is we kind of liked the doctor. It was just the whole experience was awful. I'm gonna, I'll mention it to KJ today and see what she has to say. Uh, Lynn says, I once had a PA go AWOL during my baby checkup. She never came back and I sent a scathing letter to the Commander in chief on the base. It was so unprofessional. Yeah, I know. Sometimes I kind of feel like, what's going on, right? I mean, now again, if there was an emergency, but this is not a place you would go if there was an emergency, um, because this is like you have to have an appointment, you have to get in the door, you have to have an appointment. It's like a big. I don't know. It's just awful. So um, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so that was Friday. 
Saturday, they were still a little achy, but much better than Friday. And hi, Shelly. Good morning. And hi, Corinna. And so then um, Saturday, we celebrated Katie's birthday because Katie, my youngest daughter, uh, turned 24 yesterday. And we went out to lunch yesterday for her, I'm mean, sorry, Saturday for her birthday. Ben and Carter were there and Brett and Marcella were there and everyone was there. And uh, we had a nice lunch outside and that was fun. And the babies were there and they did really good. I learned one thing. I saw this on Instagram I, of all places um, that when you go out to dinner or out to a meal with babies, especially toddlers this age, do not put them in their high chair until the food arrives. So first of all, we've already learned the second we get there, we order a kid's meal. Before we even order our drinks, we get a kid's meal for the babies to get it in the order and to get it in the system so we get our, their food fast. But then we also um, uh, didn't put them in their high chairs until literally the food came. And then actually they kind of sat on our laps a long time too and we fed them. Um, Miller was loving Ben. Huh, Ben? He kept waving to you. Um, ben loves, I'm sorry, Miller loves to wave and he was waving a lot at Ben. So that was really cute. Um, Diane says do a nurse visit next time just for shots. Oh, that's an idea. That's an idea. Um, Christine says that's frustrating. Most pediatricians around here would tag team with multiples. Oh, that would be, yeah, that would help a lot. Um, because yeah, it, it's just, it was just crazy. It was crazy. Um, Corinna says, I went to a hug party yesterday. All of my friends were finally in a place um, post COVID and it was amazing. Oh, how fun. Patricia says, our doctor talks a lot and was always running behind. She's gotten better, but um, her staff has to be reminded not to chit chat. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, ours didn't chit chat. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Um, so Saturday was a great day. We babysat them that night. Um, we played in the bathtub. They were much better yesterday. And I haven't gotten to hear about how their day was yesterday, but yesterday the babies went to church for the first time and sat in the nursery. So Kirsten and Colin haven't been able to go to church because who wants to take um, two babies into the actual service? Um, and so they went to um, church and they went to the nursery and uh, Kirsten said one started crying a little and then the other one looked at him and started crying a little but they didn't um, they text the mommies if or the daddies if um, they're upset too much but they did fine and they picked them up and they went well so we're really excited about that so that made them um, very happy and so they got to go to church which is good and then Ken and Stephanie went to church yesterday together because um, on the first Sunday of the month, we do communion and they don't have kid services. So Ken didn't go to the blah, blah, blah. So we went together. Um, usually Ken goes to two services. He goes to the high school group second service and then we go together to the third service. But we went to the second service together. And then we went on a walk around our neighborhood because, you know, we don't really know the neighborhood very well. And we ran into some old neighbors visiting other neighbors. So that was really fun. We got to see them. Um, so, yeah, it was a busy weekend, actually. Um, let's see. I'm checking in. Hi, MP from Florida. Um, YZ, YZK Bass says, hi, Ken and Stephanie. Thank you for all you do for us. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Um, Diane says, my clinic has a separate shot station you go to just for the shot so you don't have to wait. Oh, <gasps> that sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. I love that. Hi, Quilty. Good morning. Um, so let's see. I'm trying to think of, I, oh, Yvette says, I absolutely love the coffee set. Well, that's a good segue to the coffee set. So here is an example um, I wanted to show you. We're doing a flash sale right now. Those of you that have not been to the website, I'm sure those of, most of you have went last night. But here's um, a version of the coffee set. I think I had another one. Here's another cute one too using, oh, these are both on the mini slim line also. Both, all of these items are on flash sale right now. And just a heads up, let me check because I saw the mini slim lines are getting low. Hang on. Um, yeah, mini slim lines might sell out. It look, it's getting pretty close. Coffee, we're okay on for the rest of the day, but the mini slim lines, uh, the newsletter's going out. No, it's still early. So yeah, it's going to sell out, but look how cute those little, um, coffee cups are adding the faces, the faces to faces for stamps, um, little stamps on there. 
So this is the mini slimline size. The mini slimline also comes with all of those rectangles. So there's a good example of all the rectangles that it um, comes with. So that's really awesome. Um, the envelope, and in the video, I didn't really get to talk about the envelope very much, but the envelope is really awesome. It has those cute little squares in it, which is just something fun to decorate. And it fits the mini slim line. Here's another example of the, oops, this one got a little munched. I feel so bad for these samples. Sometimes they go through a lot. But here's a cute one with those little um, squares on the back. Uh, here's another one with the squares on the flap, which is really cute. But the, the slim line comes with those squares, which are fun comes with those little squares and it comes with these circles. So the circles are perfect. They're an ad, like perfect for the, both of them are perfect for the slimline card, but hang on, let me grab this one. So there's the circles. So they're perfectly placed. So you don't have to worry about, oh, are they gonna, you know, are they um, uh, lined up or centered or anything? You can just drop this piece into your mini slimline die and run that through. And then also the rectangle, the squares will fit also. The squares fit also if you want to do that on your card as well. Maybe I'll do that this Thursday on my video. Um, but yeah, it comes with those. So that's really awesome. Both of those items are on flash sale. Oh, here's I used the mini slim line. If you want to see the mini slim line in in um, action, I used it on my Thursday video. I used it on the Thursday video. You do need the larger machine. Um, and I highly recommend if you're even like on the fence about doing um, a bigger machine, I highly recommend you get a bigger machine. Um, it's worth the investment, whether you get, um, Rhonda says, at Shelly's Crafty Corner, Stamps of Life, the Stamps of Life, you are watching the founder, Stephanie Bernard. Oh, so we have some new people. And I always forget because it's like YouTube sometimes will just say, hey, you might want to watch this to people that have never heard of us. So hello. Some people have never heard of us before. And um, my name is Stephanie Bernard. Along with my husband, we own a company called the Stamps of Life. Uh, every Monday, this is just called a No Makeup Monday. Every Monday, we just get together and chit chat. Now, on Thursdays, we do a live uh, video called Stephanie's Crafting Corner, where I actually make live a card, and we, we chit-chat a little, and I get to watch the chat, but I also make something. On Mondays, it's called No Makeup Monday, and we just kind of sit and chit-chat for a little bit, just to check in, just to see how everybody's doing, just for fun. But make sure you go, oh, Shelly says I'm not good with abbreviations. Totally get that. No worries, Shelly. Welcome. But... um. Uh, you'll want to go check out our website, thestampsoflife.com, um, because we do have a really cool thing. Marianne says, I have the Gemini. Yes, the Gemini is awesome. Um, love the Gemini. Um, Sharon says, uh, I might have to buy a Spellbinder from Amazon. No shipping to Puerto Rico. Yeah, uh, uh, Spellbinders and uh, Crafters Companion ship the machines direct for us. So we don't even touch the machine. So if they don't ship to Puerto Rico, yeah, you might maybe buy it on Amazon, definitely. But it is an awesome machine. Both machines are awesome. Um, is that a future item coming out, Vicky said, on the thanks die? No, the thanks die is out. It is on the website. I believe it's called, um, oh, good. Lisa put it on the back. Happy to color dies. It's on the website. Comes with a whole bunch of awesome dies. Happy to color dies. That's on the website already. Um, Kay says, since July is coming up quickly, anything on new Christmas ideas? Kay, yes, I have a lot of Christmas things coming up, but we usually don't do Christmas until September. But yes, lots of new Christmas stuff coming up. Um, let's see. Uh, Cynthia says, mini slimline just came out last night and is on flash sale. The larger slimline has been out already. Yes, that is true. Um, I like the mini slim line because sometimes I think, I believe this is A2. A2 is, is this size and no, that's not A2 because that's a little bit. Hang on. Let me find an A2 card. Oh, here's one. Um, it's a different type, type of rectangle. And so this one is tall and skinny and this one is wide and fat. Wide and fat is the same thing. So why did I say that? But this one's a little taller. And sometimes you want one this size and sometimes you want something just a little bit smaller. And so it's fun. It's just, it's fun to have just a different shape to use. Cause sometimes you get tired of the same old, same old. 
And then that's when you would want to use something different. So it's cute. It, it's in its mini. It's in mini version, which is fun. Um, so, yes. Will the scalloped rectangle mini slimline dies come out soon? Yes, Debbie, they will. Yes. Um, can't wait for the new marker sets to come out. Me too. Um, I haven't gotten an update on when that shipped. Um, they were supposed to tell me when that was going to ship. And I haven't gotten that yet, but hopefully we'll get that information soon because I would like to get that on the website sooner than later because I want to start coloring. Um, I can't believe Francine says we ever offer a slimline club. No, Francine, we won't. Um, I don't, I look like I'm too short on Facebook. That's weird. Um, I don't think we will um, do any more clubs because uh, the coding involved. Anytime I want to make a change on my website, um, I get hit with huge bills. And if I tried to add a club, I think um, I'm a little concerned Amy might quit on me <laughs> um, because it's a big deal to do a new club. And so I don't see us doing a new club. Pamela says, cracking up, my husband came by and said, tell Stephanie I said hi. Well, Pamela, you tell your husband I said hi as well. And tell him, thank you for being such a, a supportive husband to you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, Beth said she just got the gnomes card making die. Awesome. Love that one. Uh, Marianne, we don't know exactly when the ink, mark I mean, the new markers will come out. Well, they're not new to, they're not new in general, but they're new to us. Um, I'm this month for sure. And we will be carrying the black um, marker. That, I mean, black ink pad that matches. Um, we need the coffee statement back in stock. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I do believe I'll have to check with Ken on that one because um, that one's been out for quite a while. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, Cynthia said today's my dad's 85th birthday. Tell him I said happy birthday. Um, Corinna says, Stephanie, my fiance calls you the hello, my friends. He will say, is that the hello, my friends, when I'm watching your videos? <laughs> Corinna, when are you getting married? What's the date? It's kind of time. How much are the markers going to be? Connie, I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, but, uh, of course, you'll get your club discount, and I'm hoping to have the price be a little less than normal. Um, my dad is doing well. Um. I saw him Saturday. He's doing well. He's doing good. He's doing good. I think he's lonely because he still doesn't get to go into the office. He loves going to the office because that's where all his friends are. Um, but I don't know. Um, any idea when the Ken stamp will be back in stock? No. I No. We place the orders and, and it's like in freaking La La Land. I have no idea when these people, these factories. Um, in fact, I oh, am having an issue because... I have a big HSN order that I was supposed to be receiving from the factory and they're still working on it. It was supposed to be here May 28th. So yeah, no. <laughs> How's Lemon? Lemon is doing great. She is at my parents' house. My parents have said they are not giving her back, which uh, kind of makes Kirsten smile. <laughs> um, not, I mean, she eventually wants Lemon back, but if my parents could take her for at least a year, um, that would make everyone happy. Lemon's happy because she's getting attention. My parents are happy because they have somebody and a real dog, um, because as we all know, my dog's really not a real dog. Um, and the babies are happy because they get to sleep and Lemon, because Lemon likes to bark whenever she hears a noise. And imagine having babies and hearing a noise outside, so Lemon's barking and they're sleeping and it's a nightmare. So it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Um, also, yes, anytime anything is out of stock on our website, make sure you click the notify me. That way, as soon as it goes back into stock, you're going to get an email and it'll say, hey, this is back in stock. Just letting you know you're under no obligation to purchase it, but it'll at least let you know the second it gets back added into inventory, those emails go out. It's an automatic thing. So no one has to do anything on our end. Once we add it into inventory, you get an email. So um, anything that you're waiting for, um, Wait times are a lot longer than they used to be. I know it sucks, um, but make sure you click the notify me and it sends you that email and then you get notified right away. Um, you will actually find out before I do because I don't get notified. Actually, sometimes I even use the notify me so I know when something comes back in stock so I can talk about it. Um, so, yes, most definitely. Um, Margaret says that notification is awesome. Yeah. 
I definitely um, recommend that. Yvette says, um, will you be making a word guide that says you can't make this up? I actually, Yvette, I have been kind of working on that. It's also going to be part of a stamp set that's um, in the works also. But I think it also needs to be um, a, a die because let me tell you, I say that almost every day now. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just getting crazier and crazy. Life is just crazy, crazy. Um, will you sell the refills replacement inks for the new markers? Um, Courtney, that hasn't been ordered yet, but I will look into them. It depends on um, uh, how many SKUs that are, which kind of scares me a little because the markers are 24 times... Depends on how they sell them. If they sell them individually, probably not. But if they sell them in sets, we probably could. Um, I just can't imagine because it's 72 markers, um, 72 colors in each set. Is that right? 24. Yeah. And then times two, that'd be 144. So we won't sell them individually. But if they offer them in sets, we could do that. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Meg, we do have a set of tea stains. Have you seen it? We do have a set that has a whole bunch of tea stains on it. We have actually a couple um, stamp sets that are tea related. Um, let's see. Alfie says, I'm saving up my gift certificates and points for the markers. Awesome. Good idea. Good idea. Yeah. Don't forget, you guys can always use those um, club points. Russ and I are still working on, I think I owe Russ an email actually. Um, we're still working on getting those um, files for the your electronic machines, your Cricut, or so you can make your own. Um, they'll be available to club members only. They'll be pretty cheap, and uh, you can use points or buy them. And uh, obviously, no shipping will be involved. And you will be able to um, download the the files and make your own iron-on transfers or vinyl decals for your car, or mirrors, or whatever. So that'll be awesome. Can we use all? Our stamps of life credit balances in one uh, go. I'm pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, Stephanie, you mentioned in 2021 there would be a B release. Can you elaborate on that? Uh, yeah, it's not. There is a B release, but it's not going to be for a while. Oh, no pun intended because I said B. Um, it's not going to be. I'm trying to find it. We're sure things so I can move this over. Um, let's see. It's probably not going to be. It might not end up. It might have gotten bumped. Where is it? Oh, wow. It got bumped. It's probably not going to be until next year now. The sad thing is, is I get all wound up about these and then I try to move them closer. But because like, for example, I've already ordered uh, October items so um yeah it might not make it this year no i don't think it's going to make it this year it's crazy all these things i want to release and i can only limit i can only release a certain amount a month uh pamela says thank you for the freebie die you're welcome you're welcome uh let's see got stung <laughs> yeah uh Oh, thank you, Kathy. Um, Kathy is saying, Meg, look at the T42 stamp set. Um, let's see. It's so funny. I have the first personal Cricut machine um, and I'm searching for, oh yeah, I know. There's They have a lot of machines, don't they? Um, which um, Tiffany bag do you recommend for ribbon? I recommend the two drawer or the four drawer. Hang on, let me get it for you so you can see it. Oh. Um. I use the two drawer, and I can help you lay this one out of stock, but you could also use the four drawer depending on how many ribbons you have. I have um, two for my ribbons. Um, actually, and this looks funny, but it's stuffing because I don't like them to move around, so I put stuffing in there because I don't have enough for that color. But I use the two drawer. You could also use the four drawer, but I like the two drawer because I can slide it out and grab whatever color I like, and it's pretty to look at. You could even just leave it on your counter like this because that's just pretty to look at. I love colors. That's just so pretty to look at. But that's the two drawer. That's what I use for my ribbon. Um, yeah, that's the one I use. Uh, sure. Uh, 
Oh, in case she uses the Myrtle. I joined a few weeks ago and received my goodies. Thank you for the freebies. Shelly, you're welcome. You're welcome. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. Make sure you check out the flash sale, even if you don't buy it. Make sure you go check out the flash sale because flash sales are really cool. They're always on brand new items. And it's usually 25% off. Every once in a while, I do a flash sale that's less than 25% off just because there might be like a pricing situation, but I usually try to do it at 25% off, but then you also get your club discount. So for an example, let me just give you an example on this one because, um, oh, so for an example, regular price on the mini slim line, and that is this one, just to give you an example, um, that's this one, the mini slim line, uh, regular price is $31.99, flash sale price is $23.99, and if you're a regular club member, it's only twenty thirty nine. And if you're a gold club member, it's nineteen nineteen. So you're saving, like if you're a gold club member, you're saving. It's like you're saving twenty. Oh gosh, I can't do math. You're saving a lot. <laughs> I can't figure it out. But uh, okay, so nineteen. Let's say it's twenty. So you're saving eleven dollars on that item. So you're saving. You're getting double discounts. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, is the totally Tiffany four drawer deep enough to hold all of the earth tone Copics? Um, PA, let me show you. Uh, four drawer, the four drawer, though, they wouldn't fit in the four drawer, um, because they're too long. They would fit in the two drawer. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't see. They would fit in the two drawer. Also, hang on. They might fit. Hang on. You guys can see me, right? Okay. Um, they might fit also in the. Did you guys see how I changed my. I'm using the six drawer now for my big alphabets because I'm finding it much easier than keeping them in an envelope. But they might fit in the six drawer. Hang on. Because I, right now, I didn't have the Sara bags. We're going to carry the Sara bags. Um, but I didn't have one, so I put them in my. Um, I put them in one without the drawer. But yes, they would fit in the six drawer. I don't know how many would fit, but quite a few would fit. What if I have another six drawer? Hang on. Uh, I know I have another six drawer, I just don't know where it is. Sorry, I get distracted and then I have to like figure it out. Okay, so here's some empty six drawers. Let me tell you how many of markers would fit in there. I don't know if you'd want to do it this way, but I mean, you could. Um, but wow, that easily fits. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. So eight would fit in here. Eight would fit in here easily. And then eight times six is what, 48? So actually, both sets would fit in the six drawer. So they would also fit in the two drawer, too. Um, I have both sets in this, but I'm probably going to use the Sarabeth. Or I might keep it in this. Why? Because I can see all the colors just like that. See what I mean? Because that's, that's the reason why I was thinking you might not want to use this. Somebody's calling me. Isn't that fun? But um, you might want to not keep it in this because you won't be able to see the colors. This, I can see all the colors. Here, let me show you. This, I can see all the colors. Who's calling me? I don't even know anybody in that area. Um, but see, you could see all the pretty colors um, this way. Um, so I don't know, but I'm going to try the Sara bag. I got a Sara bag. Actually, hang on. Where'd the Sara bag go? Oh, so I got the Sara bag to test, and I do like it. It's, of course, named after the um, founder of Crafters. And um, I'm going to put my markers in it because it has that cute little step up. Step up. Hang on, let me try this real quick. And I have my markers all mixed in, so I don't know which one's worth tone and which one's the other one, but hang on. I know, I, I believe it's 24 fit in here, so I'm gonna start trying to do this fast. But you guys, um, I you've probably not really ever heard me talk too much about markers because in all honesty, um, back in the olden days, I didn't like markers because, oh, the stories I could tell you about stuff. Yes, they do need to be stored um, laying down, Jan. Most definitely, I would do lay them down. Um, so, I how come I have all these extra layers in here? 
I think I did something wrong. Oh, maybe I have too many. Uh, so that's the top shelf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then the next shelf is right there. Tiffany is coming to see me. She is coming um, the end of the month. So we're excited about that. She's actually going to be here for the first, which is kind of funny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we will be doing um, our crafting corner together. So we'll be um, doing that. Okay, well, I'm not going to spend time to figure that out. But there is a sample of what it's going to look like in the store. Um, but, yes, yeah, store them sideways. I'm laying down. Uh, so that's an option for that. Um, let's see. Do I have a phone number for customer service? Joe, we do not. Um, we just don't have enough um, employees to do a, a phone number. So you'll want to email Faylene at info at the stamps of life dot com. Um, let's see. Maybe you could start to sell the SN stacking shelves for the markers. What's the SN? Tell me what that is. Um, uh, Jeannie says, I just got here. Hello. Um, Francie says, working on organization, how do you store the stamps and dies in the envelopes? Um, I store them, um, let me get one. So here's two samples, two options. Oh, now I get a voice. Lucky me. Okay. So here's two options. One is keeping your stamps in the Stamps of Life storage envelopes. And then these go into the Karen bag. Um, these are, this, how many do I have in here? I fit a lot in here, you guys, because I'm cheap. Um, I have one, two, three stamp sets in here. And then that would mean probably two or three die sets in here. And they're all in there. I like to keep them by theme. So all of the polar bear items are in here. Um, and that includes the cute little polar bear dies like that. They're all in there. So when I grab this, I know I have all my polar bears. Um, all my polar bears right here. Then, oh, here's another example. This one is the fish one. And I have one, two. Only two stamps in this one, because that means probably only two matched with it. And I have lots of dies in this one. I usually have extra dies. You can keep them on the magnets. Some I keep on the magnets, some I don't. These are so little, I just throw them in there because I'm too lazy to put them on magnets. But you can also keep them on the magnets. And then this way is another way. Um, this is, instead of using the envelope, you can use the stamp pockets from Totally Tips. And we have them on our website. And this one is holding... One, two, two stamp sets and two die sets are in there. Two stamp sets and two die sets. Now, 4th of July, you're thinking, what else does she have in there? I have two stamp sets, the same ones, and two die sets, the same ones. Why? I don't know. But that's how I screw it. Um, Spectrum Noir, Betty said, thank you, my love. I totally didn't. I'm not good with my abbreviations either. Um. Alfie says gold members are saving 40% on the two slimline products. Alfie, you are good with math. Thank you for that. And it's a brand new item, so it's awesome. Hi, Lisa. Um, made by Crafty Great stacking shelves for any markers. I will look into, hang on, i got to write this stuff down because um, I forget. And somebody wanted me to ask Ken about the coffee. Yes, hang on. i got to ask Ken about the coffee statement. Coffee statement and also the spectrum noir shelves i'll look into it um i love those envelopes i need more though yeah i know luckily we just got the um storage envelopes back in stock yay it, they were gone for a while um could you please show how you are storing your wood word dice sure hang on let me put these back so i don't forget uh the word dice That's one thing I don't have organized yet is where everything is. Because these are the folded, folded, holiday folded. I'm getting more folded, so I had to kind of like move stuff around. 
because the foldits are getting larger and larger. Okay, wait, no, it's in a bigger box. Hang on. Okay. In this one, this one's in progress of getting organized. This one's in progress of getting organized. Hang on. And I have them in the Kirsten bag because I had them originally in the Karen, but I didn't like that because um, I couldn't fit very many in there. So what I'm doing now is I have them on the magnets and like the thank you is going to be together. Um, this one is, um, this one's like the happies. So this is happy retirement and happy anniversary. So all my happy birthdays and happy retirements are in this one. So that way I can, like if I know I'm going to do a happy retirement, I can pull this out and see all my happy retirements. That way, because you know, sometimes you want a different font, you want it to, you know, you don't you want it to be smaller or larger. Um, let me show you one that's better looking than that one. Uh, oh, here's here's a good one. Here's a, and I'm still in progress because see, this one's still in the small size, but these are all my happy birthdays. So I have a happy birthday on the one side. And then any happy birthday dies I have are in this one. So I have the small version there. I have the bigger, um, this is the one that's the um, trendy alphabet happy birthday. Um, happy birthday down here. So this is like all happy birthdays. So I can keep them all together. And then like, oh, here's one. These are my happy new years. So then I have two options for happy new year. Um, that way, I really feel like I when I do it that, when I organize them that way, I um, am able to find them faster. So that is how I do those. Let me see. Um, Russ says, I keep changing my mind on my word dies. I've moved them to the medium envelopes, Kirsten bags, but I'm considering moving them to the large envelope paper taker with an eight by 10 magnet. Oh, that's an option. Um... When are you getting, well, it's going fast. When are you getting more shaker sequins coming out? Uh, this month, we'll be releasing a new version, a new a new um, assortment this month. This month. Um, I ordered ice cream two dies while waiting for the stamps. Are they going to be coming back? Yes. Yes, they're coming back. I, if it's on our website and it doesn't say um, limited edition, it's coming back. Um. Let's see. Oh, I know. Russ says uh, autocorrect changed the wording, of the spelling of Kirsten. I know it does. I know. Thank you. Uh, MP says, love my totally Tiffany, Stephanie, Kirsten, and Katie storage bags. Thank you. Um, Addie says, that is such a better idea for word dies. I have them by font and have to check every one. Oh, yeah. And I... I really, because originally I had them kind of like by font too, like, oh, these all came, I purchased all these together or these all came together. And then I'm like, you know what? I can never find a happy birthday. So I put all my happy birthdays together and then I can find them. And then I'm like, okay, I need a happy birthday die. So then I go boom to happy birthday and there it is. So one thing I have not done, Circus, Lori, yes, Circus is coming soon. Um, actually, I just got a shipping notice. So it's going to be in our warehouse soon. But uh, I don't know when it's going to go for sale, but it has been ordered and it's on its way. Um, one thing I have not been good at yet, and that's just because I'm still organizing, is I haven't put my, my labels on here yet. But like, for example, this one's thinking of you and sometimes they fall because I'm mean to them. I don't, I don't, but here's like all my thinking of you. So it's like all together, all ready to go. Now, of course, I'm going to have to be doing a lot of cleaning up organizing before uh, Tiff gets here. I think she's coming on the 30th. I think she's coming on the 30th. Hang on one second. I better check something really quick. Um, I just want to check something really quick. Sorry, I'm looking at the screen behind you. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, hang on. Sorry, one more thing. Ken just sent me a text asking, um, do you have everything we need for Thursday night? Love, Ken. Yes, we always say, it's funny because we always end every email to each other, love Stephanie or love Ken. And then sometimes one of our employees will actually get one of those, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, hang on, let me fix this. Oh, darn it. Fix this. Okay. 
Um, if you're waiting for an email from um, Faileen, not going to happen anytime soon. Just kidding. But um, she has 209 emails to deal with. So she always gets um, bombarded when um, when uh, a release comes out. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, Cynthia says a local real estate agent gave, um, gave out magnetic calendar ads each year. And I use those. I glue those to the cardboard backer. Oh, perfect. That's perfect. It makes it a sturdy magnetic sheet. Good way of reusing and recycling. I like that. Good job. Good job. Uh, ran out of Karen bags. Um, I have to order more. Yes, I know. I know. Karen, Karen by far is, um, well, Kirsten's actually my favorite now because, well, she's my kid, but um, I like the size of it. But Karen is also one of our top sellers. Everybody loves Karen. Um, Nydia says, can enamel dots be purchased individually? Just join the gold and love the dots. I'd like more. Welcome to the gold club, Nydia, first of all. Um, we actually placed a huge order for um, seasonal colored enamel dots. Um, so that's going to be kind of new to our website. They, I don't know when they're going to start coming out, but they, yes, coming soon. I should say coming soon. Um, Organizing our crafty stuff is a hobby in itself, uh, Corinna says. It is, that's true. And also it's very, um, uh, like, energizing. It energizes me and it gets me, like, like just, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's not the word lethargic. Is the, uh, like, it, it just, it's very, what's the word I'm looking for? Where it's just calming and it's just, like, nice to get things organized. Um, Marianne, yes. Um, but what's the word I'm looking for? It's it's like, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I can't think of words, especially when I'm alive. Um, any word when the totally Tiffany bags come back in stock? Um, the Karen bags from back in April, no idea. Um, but make sure you're clicking the notify me because um, then you'll find out before I do when they get back. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, cathartic. Thank you, Billy. That was the word I needed. Cathartic. It's just like relaxing, right? It's just like, like the other day I cleaned off my desk completely and I came in after that and I just went, Oh, it just felt so good to have it nice and clean. And now it's all a mess again, but, um, it is what it is. Okay. Um, I think I need to head out. Make sure you join us Thursday at 11 AM for our totally, uh, for our crafting corner live then that night at 4 p.m pacific we're going to be doing our free online craft event where we're going to have new items on flash sale and i'm going to be demonstrating them live uh so you'll get to see those as well that's thursday at four o'clock so two times on thursday if you cannot make the live events that's okay they are all taped uh but you'll definitely want to try to get to that four o'clock one because we're going to be doing quite a few raffles and we're going to be having a lot of fun. So go check that out as well. Um, everybody's saying cathartic. Thank you. You guys all knew it. I did it. Um, oh, Corinna says perfect timing. I have a meeting in eight minutes. Awesome. Oh, thank you, Corinna. Um, okay. So thank you all so much. Thank you for your love, your support, and your prayers. I'm still working on that stamp set, by the way. I have to find the perfect font. And sometimes it takes longer than designing a whole stamp set. Um, but I will see you all soon uh, on Thursday morning. I'm going to have a lunch date with my babies. So I better go um, figure out what we're having for lunch. But I will see you again Thursday, twice. And have a lovely week. And make sure you pick up those splash sales because the uh, slim line especially is going fast. Uh, coffee will be there the rest of the day. But Thank you so much, and I will see you all again soon. Bye-bye.